mothermother.com. In this video, I want to take a look at the RSI and how it gives us interesting points of view or interesting inflections into what a stock is about to do. What I'm going to do is draw one line and I'll show you where the line comes from. So this is the chart for WDC. It could be any chart, but and it is a weekly chart going back a couple years. So we're talking about weekly chart from 2013 to, of course, the current chart here, 2018. So what I'm going to do is I'll draw a line right here. What this line gives us is the break of those highs. So the line that is going to be generated is going to be based on this break point here. All right, so that makes sense. All right, so let's do this. We're going to extend that line. And I want you to see what it does. It gives us interesting swing trades. We have, of course, the initial break, which suggested lower prices. We come and stall on the line for that weekly high and a move lower. We have uniform activity rejection on the line for those highs and we move lower finally we recapture back above the line which is this period we come back and test the line for the lows there we test the line and find support for the lows there same thing here we find support just around the line for those weekly lows we find support on the line for the weekly lows there support on the line again weekly lows and what we see over the last couple of weeks we went below the line and back above it for those lows right there so the same line has been telegraphing turnaround situations going back about three years now i'll show you how that same level this line is also critical if you go backwards in time so in other words we're going to back test this line going backwards in time and i'll show you how we're going to do that so let's take a look at a longer view so here we're looking at the 2013 to 2018 time frame about five years of data now let me enlarge that and we have a longer point of view now and we're just looking at this from 2010 now to 2018 Remember the line comes from this break. We already looked at the swing trades that developed from this line here. And now we are going to back test it going this way, going backwards. And I want to show you how this is still relevant. All right, so we have this breakout and a move higher. We got support on the line and a recovery higher, support on the line, swing to it higher. We got a break of the line, swing to it lower, movement back above the line, swing to it higher. And this looks like double bottom, uniform activity. So once we move above the line, that's a swing to it entry, double bottom here, support for the lows there. And pretty much, we also see uniform activity below the line, back above it for those lows and a recovery to new highs. So the same line makes sense whichever way you look at it. And so the point of it here is that your RSI lines, if you draw them based on a previous critical level, here we are using this break. And once we figured out the break that brought it lower, So this break here that brings us off the highs there and we have this massive drop. Once we understand that, we can see that the line was relevant in going forward. And also when we back test the line, it has made sense in going backwards. So our RSI lines are not just there for show. They can actually be used to telegraph the next meaningful tendency or the next meaningful odds for a particular swing trade. 
ericmother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S. Woo!